Hello, I'm Ken Scribner, a senior consultant with Wintelect, a company that specializes in custom Windows software development, general Windows consulting, and debugging services. Today I'd like to talk about mouse-triggered animations in Silverlight 2.0. To begin, I've created a Silverlight 2.0 project in Visual Studio 2008 I called Mouse Trigger. We use this project to animate an object's opacity value as the mouse cursor enters and leaves the object. Now there are several types of animation we could perform, but in this demonstration my goal is to show how the mouse can trigger animations. So I'll keep it to a simple double animation and simply change the object's opacity over a short period of time. Now as you can see, I've placed four rectangles and an ellipse on a canvas. The ellipse covers portions of each rectangle. Let's modify the XAML to make the ellipse less opaque, and then we'll add mouse event handlers to change the opacity. First we'll find our ellipse. And notice that I've given it the name My Ellipse. And we're going to add some code. The first will be is a new opacity value to make the ellipse opaque, less opaque. Next, I'm going to add a mouse event handler for the mouse enter event. And it's okay to let Visual Studio add the event handler, so I'll simply press the tab key. I'll do the same thing for the mouse leave event also allowing Visual Studio to add the mouse event handler. Now it turns out that animations are handled by storyboards and storyboards are generally included in XAML as resources. So I'm going to add a resource to our canvas element. And the next thing I'll do is add a storyboard to our resources. And I'll give this a name because later I'm going to want to access this in code. To the storyboard, I'm going to add an animation type of double animation. And to the double animation, I'm going to have to add some information. The first thing I'm going to add is the actual target name of the object we're going to want to animate, which in this case was my ellipse. The next thing I'll need to add is the property that we're going to animate, which in this case was the opacity. Now, as the mouse enters the ellipse, the ellipse is translucent. That means that the starting value that we're working with will be the opacity value we gave the ellipse originally, which was 0 0.1. We're going to animate it such that it becomes fully opaque, and we're going to do this over a very short period of time, a quarter of a second. And this value as I've determined by trial and error, but it turns out that this particular time period is a, is a relatively reasonable amount of time to animate this. Now, we're also going to want to animate the mouse as it leaves. So I'm going to copy the original storyboard using my code editor reuse, and I'm going to change the name of the storyboard from brighter to dimmer and since we'll be dimming the ellipse, I'm going to change the from and to values. Now this, the storyboard, both storyboards, are resources of the canvas. So I'm going to have to give the canvas a name. I'll give the name of my canvas. We'll save everything. Now we'll add some code to actually animate the ellipse. To do that, we're going to open our page.xaml.cs file for editing. And notice that Visual Studio added event handlers for mouse enter and mouse leave. Let's work on the mouse enter first. The first thing we'll need to do is locate our canvas element. 
And we'll do that using the find name method that Silverlight provides. Once we have our canvas element, we'll need to locate our storyboard. And we do so like this. We access the particular resource by name. Once we have the storyboard, we simply call its begin method. So to recap, in our mouse event handler, we pull a copy of our canvas. Given our canvas, we access its resources using the resource name as a key into the resource dictionary. We have to cast the resource that comes back to us as the appropriate thing, which in this case is a storyboard. Once we have our storyboard, we call its begin method. Now it turns out that the exit mouse exit code, mouse leave code, is nearly similar. The only thing we'll do is change the storyboard value that we look for from brighter to Denver, dimmer. Now we'll save all our files and compile everything. With like everything we'll compile. Indeed it did. Now I'm going to scroll down to our test page and view that in the browser. Now as I rotate the mouse cursor around the ellipse and finally enter the ellipse, you'll notice that when it enters the ellipse, the opacity changes to a full value of 1, and when it leaves the ellipse, it changes back to a translucent appearance. And that's how you use mouse enter and leap events to animate objects. You could also use different uh, mouse clicks and other mouse movements and things like that as well. And that concludes my demo.